An analogy that I use with patients a lot is think of the eye as being a lot like a camera. And just like a camera has a lot of different moving parts within it and where light comes in that allow how much light comes in, that focuses the light, and then the camera has film or a device that captures the light. Our eyes are very similar to that. And so we have our cornea, which is the front surface of the eye, and it's kind of the window of the eye that allows light in. Uh, we then have our iris, the colored part that's like the diaphragm of a camera that decides how much light is actually going to enter into the eye or not. The next layer back is the lens. And so just like there's lenses in a camera, we have a lens in our eye that focuses. And so it's the changing of the shape of the lens in our eye that really helps focus light. What allows it to focus is we have what's called ciliary body and ciliary muscles that control the lens that helps to focus the light on the retina. And so the retina is like the film in a camera. The very center of the retina is what's called the macula. And the macula is where we have our really fine detailed vision. And so when we look right at something, when I look at somebody's face, I'm using my macula. And the macula is what's giving me the details on the face, and it's the rest of my retina that's allowing me to see everything that's around the face, kind of in the periphery of your view. In general, our body doesn't make these carotenoids. We have to ingest them somehow, either through diet or supplementation. What carotenoids do before free radicals have a chance to attack these healthy cells, they quench them, they react with them and therefore they neutralize these free radicals so that the free radicals cannot attack the healthy cells. So what happens is lutein and zeaxanthin, we take it in from diet or supplementation and it crosses into the back of the eye actually and is deposited back there to protect those cells. No matter what age, we're unable to produce astaxanthin. To get enough astaxanthin to support eye health, you would need to eat approximately 12 servings of wild king salmon every single day to get the six milligram daily dose of natural astaxanthin. The problem, again, is that the levels accumulating in things like spinach and broccoli and kale are very, very low. You'd have to eat an enormous amount of those. You'd have to eat them every day in order to make sure that you had a sufficient dose to prevent macular degeneration with blue light and, and uh, excessive exposure to light. How the carotenoids help the eyes as far as it's focusing is really multifaceted. So astaxanthin really helps those muscles to not be strained. And so if you think about it, every time we shift where we're looking and any time we look at something, especially something up close, it takes a lot of focusing power, a lot of focusing uh, energy to go on. And so astaxanthin really helps to reduce some of our eye strain because of that focusing. The primary place where we have lutein and zeaxanthin is in the macula, so in that part of the eye that has our very fine detailed vision. And really they serve multiple purposes. One of them is to act sort of like an internal sunglasses. So this pigment layer that they deposit helps protect our photoreceptors. So you may have heard of rods and cones. And those are the cells that ultimately take in the light and help get it back to our brain where it's translated into the vision that we see. By having our lutein and zeaxanthin, we help protect the photoreceptors and really the entirety of our retina. 